So I got this book recently, maybe not completely recently, but a while ago, from the library. So it's Women in Science, 50 Fearless Pioneers Who Changed the World, written and illustrated by Rachel Ignatowski. I'm not sure if I pronounced the name right, but this is the book. The cover looks beautiful, incredible. And on the back, it says, Throughout history, many women have asked questions about our world. When they were told you can't, they replied, try and stop me. <clears throat> women in Science is a glorious illustrated celebration of trailblazing women. It highlights the contributions of 50 incredible women to the fields of science, technology, engineering and maths from the ancient to the modern world. The extraordinary women profiled include famous figures like Marie Curie, as well as lesser known pioneers such as Alice Bold, African-American chemist who cured leprosy. Women in Science celebrates the achievements of the intrepid women who have paved the way for the next generation of female engineers, biologists, mathematicians, doctors, astronauts, physicists, and more. I am almost finished with the book, to be fair. But I realized I haven't said anything about it. So as you can see, I took it around November time. It looks beautiful. Like if I show you a quick go through like this, it's, it's beautiful. Oh, and I can show you Katherine Johnson over here. So I can show you on this page actually. So you see you have every page or like every woman has a page like this where you have like a lovely quote on the bottom. I really enjoy like 90% of the quotes I saw so far. So for Katherine Johnson, you have the other women didn't ask questions or take the task any farther. I asked questions. I wanted to know why. They got used to me asking questions and being the only women there, Katherine Johnson. And then it tells you a couple of like facts about her like on the drawing and stuff and it looks really nice and on this side you have like a very sh very short presentation of what she's done and again you have drawings on the side which are really cute and then you have again other small facts about that person and and that's kind of it so this is how it looks like for all 50 women so over here you can see like a list of some of them because this is the content so you can see the list of what women you're gonna find inside really cute it also has at the back which i thought was really interesting it has a glossary again with definitions and explanations of some more complicated concepts because being about like women in science, engineering, technology, and maths, it, she uses specific words. And yeah, you might find some of them that like not everyone understands. You also have like images like this one. This is about lab tools and stuff and more. It also has, so that was it. It also has resources. So if you, it has a list of films, which I thought was really, really nice. And then you have a list of websites, books, so I thought that's good. And then you have the index. And yeah, the back of the book looks really cute as well, like the last bits. The drawings are beautiful. And that's the same as the front over here. So yeah, beautiful, very inspirational, I found out. So. I didn't expect it to be so inspirational. I thought, oh, I, I kind of know most of the women from this book anyway, but the way they're presented, it just made me feel so inspired to like do something. So after I read, I don't know, like the first one that's over here, I think it's Hypatia, I'm not sure. Yeah. So after I read something about Hypatia, I was like, oh, I really want to do something. And I just started doing a lot of stuff if that makes sense i don't know how to say but because i have like the page and the blog and stuff after i was reading like about one woman i felt like inspired to go and do something even if it was like a a short post on facebook tumblr or 
just maybe a longer blog post and stuff like that. I felt inspired to do something. So I thought that was good. The language other than when she uses like proper scientific concepts and stuff, it's very easy to understand. So yeah, I highly recommend it. So as I said, this is from the library, but I do plan to buy it as well and have it in my on my bookshelf. So probably I will do that for Christmas, but I am overly excited and happy for the existence of this book. It is awesome. And if you haven't seen it, you haven't read it, you haven't enjoyed it with your kids or with your friends or with your family in general, you have to. You have to. Like even for like some pages I was reading stuff to my husband and he was like, "Oh, nice." So, yeah. It's it's awesome. Like I there's there's nothing else I can say extra about it then you have to pick it up. I'm looking to see if they have anything about the author. Yes, great, the author, that was what's up. So, Rachel grew, <clears throat> my voice is going a little bit, sorry guys. Rachel grew up in New Jersey, USA on a healthy diet of cartoons and pudding. Oh, very healthy, lovely. She graduated with honors from Tyler School of Arts graphic design program in 2011. Now she lives in beautiful Kansas City, Missouri, where she spends all day drawing and learning as much as she can. Exactly. Lovely. She has a passion for taking dance information and making it fun and accessible and is dedicated to creating educa educational works of art. Rachel is inspired by history and science and believes that illustrations illustration is a powerful tool that can make learning exciting. She uses her work to spread her message about education, scientific literacy, and powerful women. She hopes this book inspires girls and women to follow their passions and dreams. This is Rachel's first book and she plans on writing many more on the future. To see more of Rachel's education and art and learn more about her, please visit Rachel Ignot or oh, her full name design.com. I will put the link in the description for you to find out more about Rachel because I think she's doing an incredible job anyway um yeah so this is around like eight minutes of me being overly excited for a book and yeah there's just nothing else I'm just overly excited so yeah just let me know if you've read this book or any other book by her because I feel like she already got some other books out and while you think about it so again totally worth it recommended for anyone in all ages all everyone anyone everyone all ages you have to check this out so i will speak i will speak with you next time and enjoy the day bye